Hey, it's the Empire, Geoboxing Empire, back to my boxing. Now, man, I thought I'd never see this in my lifetime, man. I was shocked. I'm like, wow, didn't see this coming. Now, <laughs> this is from Mayweather, man. Uh, and he said, this is from uh, BoxingScene.com, and I'll link the article in the description as always. And it said, it's sad that you hear a guy say, I want to fight Manny Pacquiao, but Manny Pacquiao is 41 now. Don't chase him. You young guys chase each other. Stop chasing this old man. If you, if the opportunity presents itself, go out and do what you guys do. Let Manny Pacquiao pick and choose who he wants to fight. Maybe they told fighthype.com. And Pacquiao, he says, it says this, according to Pacquiao, his career rival is simply displaying his envious nature. That, <laughs> and Pacquiao says, Mayweather Jr., he is just as envious. He's already retired. We're still active and have a crown. Pacquiao told Manila Times. So then, the guys, guys go, man. Um, I, I don't know why, you know, Floyd Mayweather started defending Pacquiao. You know, and, and you know, it's crazy because Mayweather is defending Pacquiao and then Pacquiao shits in him. I, I, I just don't get it. I do not get it, man. But, um, you know, I, I think Mayweather and Pacquiao have the right to choose their opponents because there are already legends in the sport, man. They can pick who and fight whoever they want to fight. They don't need to be held by these sanctioning bodies and be told to do anything. You know, Mayweather is trying to stand up for Pacquiao and say, you know, he can pick and choose who he wants to fight. You know, recently Pacquiao already fought a young, hungry lion, an undefeated one, and Keith one time Thurman, and Pacquiao dominated the fight. You know, Pac uh, Thurman did good in the fight, but it was too late, too little, too late. In the later half of the fight, he did better than he did the first half of the fight. You guys didn't know. Uh, Pacquiao dropped him like around one or two or something like that. Uh, Pacquiao dominated the first six rounds. And, uh, you know, Keith Thurman started coming back later in the fight. But, I mean, by that time, Pacquiao was too dominant in the beginning of the fight, which is crazy because you shouldn't have an older fighter um, starting out so quick and, and, and being able to dominate so much of the fight early on. You know, if you're a younger fighter fighting an older fighter, you know, you need to be dominant early and then maybe the old fighter can do something later. But for the most part, you need to take control early. Keith Thurman wasn't able to do that. But, um, yeah, man, it was, it was just crazy that um, Pacquiao... You know, he's, he just trashed Mayweather for defending the guy and saying, you know what, he's just mad because the guy's retired, you know. So maybe maybe Pacquiao has uh, this, you know, I, I don't know what to call it. It's some kind of, uh, I, I don't know, loyalty to these sanctioning bodies and maybe he's going to do what the sanctioning bodies tell him to do. So maybe he's going to fight more tough opponents. You know, maybe this is a good thing. Maybe he might fight Errol Spence next or, or one of these, you know, tough Walter Waits. We're gonna see what happens, man. Me personally, I like Earl Spencer Jr., but I personally think Sean Porter is more exciting, and I would really, really love to see Sean Porter versus Manny Pacquiao because they're both aggressive fighters. And the last time I seen Pacquiao against an aggressive fighter was like Eric Morales. And no disrespect to Eric Morales, but Sean Porter is a big welterweight to say the least. Um, the guy used to fight at middleweight, and um, you know he won't he'll be non-stop we've seen him against power punches like uh cub brook and we've seen him against power punches like a keith one-time thurman the guy took the shots and he just kept coming the guy does not know the meaning of stop same thing in Manny pacquiao aggressive fighter he does not know the meaning of stop he was it doesn't matter how big you are or strong you are he's gonna come forward he's gonna push the pace so me personally man i would love to man see manny pacquiao fight sean porter i know he's not a world champion right now but if he wants to be um uh, in some exciting fights um a Sean Porter would definitely be on my top list. And if you want a meaningful fight that means something for his career, uh, Errol Spence is definitely that guy. Um, I think the more belts that uh, Pacquiao gets, the more pressure it would be on Floyd Mayweather uh, coming back to the sport. Because a lot of people didn't believe that Manny Pacquiao could hang with the new uh, fighters uh, this generation of welterweights. And it's looking like, man, Manny Pacquiao could possibly clean out the division. Now, people say that Errol Spence can win, but I mean, Manny Pacquiao, the way he beat Thurman was shocking. He just beat him so convincingly, you know, so convincingly. And if he fights, if he fights uh, Errol Spence, he knows that's the big fight. That's a big fight because people have been talking about Errol Spence for years now. So Manny Pacquiao has definitely has been on his radar. Errol Spence has been on his radar. In fact, Manny Pacquiao was there um, for Errol Spence's last few fights. You know, um, I think this last fight, la the last fight that was a big fight against Mackie Garcia and Errol Spence, they asked Manny Pacquiao about the fight, and he said, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, and, and then it turned out, you know, he fought Keith one time Thurman instead. So, you know, it's a really big deal, Manny Pacquiao coming back and, and fighting all these elite level fighters, these young cats, 
you know, in their late twenties or just turned 30, you know, it's a big deal. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is, you know, a decade older than all these fighters, at least a decade older than most of these fighters. And he's dominating these guys. So we're going to see how this whole thing plays out, man. Um, I think M Manny Pacquiao is going to keep fighting these young, hungry lions. And, you know, the more Pacquiao dominates these younger fighters, the less and less people want to see the circus show from Mayweather. And they're going to see Manny Pacquiao rebuild his brand and become more dangerous. Because after that, Floyd Mayweather lost to Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Pacquiao's stock dropped a lot. Let's be honest, it dropped a lot. And Manny Pacquiao is going to have to reassert himself in, in a sport of boxing. To, for people to take him seriously and not just see him as old man because if he cleans the division out people can't call him old man anymore they're gonna have to call him you know just what he is a goat and Mayweather's gonna have to come back and have to he's gonna have to prove them wrong again you know but anyway let me know you guys, let me know you guys feel about it though Mayweather tried to defend Pacquiao Pacquiao says man he's jealous because he's retired and I'm still active you know what I mean showing these youngins how it's done let me know you guys feel about it though like comment subscribe this is the empire geobasket empire peace empire. Geobasket.